Okay, in this first square on the left, I want you to draw to show two triangles in this square. Excellent, one person's already done. Two, three people. And <laughs> and vertices does a triangle have? Good job. Three sides and three vertices. So where will we draw our line? From the top corner whoops, to the bottom corner. Okay? just like this. Now, if you did this, is it wrong? No. No, it's not. It's just the opposite. It's just the opposite. It's the same. It is perfectly fine. As long as I have triangles. Could I have done this? No. Why not? Because that's They're not triangles. It doesn't have three vertices. It does not have three sides. You are exactly right. So I had to go from one corner to the other corner. I had to do that. Okay? Very simple, right? So in the next square, I want you to show three triangles. Okay, I could do the same thing. I could split it up to where I see triangles, but then I can split this triangle into a triangle as well. I will just stop there. Is this a triangle? Yes. Is this a triangle? Yes. Is this a triangle? Yes. Okay, do not make it hard. When you draw a line, it has to go from one side to the other side, okay? So do not make it too hard. I see a lot of people who draw triangles in the square. Is that acceptable? No, no it is not because all of that space around it is not a shape. I want to take up the whole square with the three triangles, okay? So, um, was there another possible way we could have done three triangles? What? Okay, very good. Instead of drawing this line right here, I could have done it from the bottom and I could have started down here. Okay, is there another way I could have done it? Like a lot, two lines across from each other in the middle. And then... Okay, this is what he did. <coughs> That's kind of. Could we have done that? Yes. Yeah, is this a triangle? Yes. Is this a triangle? Yes. Is this a triangle? Yes. Okay, we could have done that. Okay. So, as long as you had three triangles. Now, I'm going to go back to this one, which all of them are right. That's fine as long as we have three triangles. Okay. Which one would you rather have if it were a cookie split? 
if you, if these were cookies, which one would you rather split with a friend? You'd rather split this one right here? But what if you get this piece? That's true, you could give it to more friends, but just like your alligator, you like cookies. So, don't you want more and more cookies? But we need to share. So, which one would you rather split with a friend? The first one, why? Because it's equal. Because you it's both, equal. Both get one. We both get the same amount. Would it be fair if I gave you this one and I gave you this one and I got this one? That would not be fair because that one is bigger. You are exactly right. I heard someone say the word equal. And I like that word because we are going to be looking at shapes that are split into equal parts today. This um, second one is in unequal parts or unequal shares, okay? Because we're going to share the parts. So it's unequal. It is unequal because this size is not the same as this size, okay? And how I want you to think about equal and unequal is if it were a cookie and you split it, would you be happy with the smallest piece? No. Which one's smaller here? No. Neither of them are smaller. They're the same size, so we call that equal, okay? So go ahead and turn your paper over, and you see the words equal parts or equal shares. They mean the same thing, okay? You just have to know that they mean the same thing. Shares means that if you were to share it, then it would be equal. Everyone would have the same amount of pieces. Or equal parts. If I split it up into parts, all of the parts would be the same um, amount. Okay? So no one would get upset. So if I had a square and I split it in half down the middle, is that equal? Yeah. It is an equal part. Okay, so if I got this cookie and you got this piece of the cookie, would we both be happy? Yes! Yes, we would. Okay, now let's look at a different way to split it up into equal parts. If I split it up like this into four different, I shared it with me and three of my friends. Would all of us be happy? Yes! Yes, I would. But we're talking. Would all four of us be happy? Yes. Why? They're all the same size. Okay, so those are equal shares. Here I have the word unequal parts or unequal shares. If I have my cookie and I split it right here, and I get this piece, and you get this piece. Are you going to be happy? No. So what is it called? Unequal. It's unequal, an unequal part, or an unequal share. So that's not good. Okay? So if I were given a cookie, and I said, split it into four equal shares. So I did this, and then I did this. Is that equal? No. It is unequal. Yeah, because two people are going to get small, 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 teeny, tiny pieces of the cookie, and then two people are going to get bigger sizes. That's unequal. Okay? 
So does everyone understand what we are doing today? In the directions, it says circle the shapes that show equal parts. Circle the shapes that show unequal parts. So you're really going to have to read the directions to see which one it wants. Does it want equal shares or does it want unequal shares? Okay, and what are you going to ask yourself? Is it equal or Very good. If I had a piece of that cookie and my neighbor had a piece of that cookie, would we both be happy? Okay.